A statewide university competition is helping students develop their businesses. The ninth annual Idaho Entrepreneur Challenge had teams of students pitching their startup business ideas to a panel of judges. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was at the Idaho Entrepreneur Challenge. And Jude, you heard all of the finalist pitches, right? How did yeah, sure. it go? <laughs> Went table by table. A lot of great ideas. Now, 51 teams of college students from all over Idaho competed in this year's Entrepreneur Challenge. And today, the finalists gathered at Boise State to give their pitches for the chance to win thousands of dollars. If we strictly have stayed in phase one, we expect to see a 5% increase in sales year over year. Our mission is to help student entrepreneurs launch their ventures beyond the classroom. A launching pad for students across the state who pitched their business ideas at the ninth annual Idaho Entrepreneur Challenge. So the idea generation, the innovation and entrepreneurship is really, it's really important to students across the state um, to one, let them see what they're able to do and then also give back to the community. Our Skittles run about 40% margin. Finalists pitched their ideas to a panel of judges. We are a freeze dried candy producer. Which included this sweet way to snack. We just take normal candy and we put it in our freeze dryer. We can run all of our candies in about a two hour cycle and then it slowly heats them up and so the water that is normally in the candy um, evaporates and they become crunchy. So all of these candies are the crunchy version of what you would normally imagine like a taffy or um, a skittle to be. Many of the business ideas were solutions to problems that students dealt with. My contacts dried up, one of them fell, I was blind for half the day. I'm like, great, how can I solve this? The solution, a portable case that cleans your contacts. It will be using UV light, which will be able to sanitize your contact lenses right away, using about five minutes by eradicating bacteria and protein buildup, which is the main reason as to why you have to throw away your contacts. Another idea solved a problem at BYU-Idaho. And there is a devastation currently happening in that town. A wing shortage. We think people still want the fun and the atmosphere and the chill vibe that comes with a bar. So we'll bring all the same products, the exact same atmosphere, everything that comes with it, just without the alcohol, so that we can just get a good snack after studying for 12 hours a day. Students set up tables to showcase their ideas like... The next generation of backpacks. You have interchangeable straps, so you can be different every single day. You can pick from different colors and styles. Um, to match your outfit or personality. Or this other innovative use of straps. Uh, so this bag solves that problem where you can strap down a full load of lumber uh, and then add this bag to the top of that tie down. It, it drives securely wherever you need to go. And you'll be safe from cold water with this affordable dry suit. Uh, you put it on, you zip it up, keeps you 100% dry, you get in the river, you can get out with your tuxedo on or whatever suit you want. Uh, and you're going to stay dry. Other ventures tackled industry wide <laughs> problems like protecting hairstylists and animal groomers. In, in the industry, one of the large problems is hair splinters, which are literally splinters of hair that get stuck in the hands and they're real prone to infection. With a glove specifically designed to prevent hair splinters. Reinforcements in between to keep from wear and tear, but super stretchy, super um, tight weave so that hair doesn't come through. and. Any hair that gets on there, you can just literally wipe it right off. Other business ideas provided services for people. So that they have, uh, they're in the driver's seat of their own health care. By helping respiratory patients. Be working with the physicians um, at the hospitals, the pulmonary physicians, and trying to go out and navigating the patients from suspected um, issues with pulmonary diagnoses to being able to help them, educate them. One student's idea turned to virtual reality. We're helping student, uh, children with autism uh, develop their voices and be heard. With a VR app designed to help children with autism. Willis Playground is an open world VR application, which allows the user to approach and converse as freely as they want, to take things at their own pace and learn the things they want to. Uh, it's the only adapter that allows you to use your own case. What's special about our product is that it doesn't require a specific case. You can use whatever case you already have. You can just attach it simply to your optic. This allows you to take your phone and take really high quality pictures at a distance. The golden ticket that is not printed on a golden piece of paper <laughs> goes to OnGlass.
The finalists competed for $50,000 of prizes to help continue growing their businesses. And this money is going to go really far um, for me to increase my marketing and my manufacturing. And I, and I hope I can get this product out and able to develop even more products after this. Now, teams competed in four different categories, depending on what type of business idea they had. And Shira Zach, who's the inventor of On Glass, who you just heard from, also won a golden ticket to pitch his business at Boise Entrepreneur Week. Wow, very exciting and good for them. That's pretty cool. All right, thanks, Jude, for sharing that with us.